We're absolutely thrilled with the new additions uh, to the University of Delaware football family. Bilal Nichols, he is a terrific young player. The sophomore out of hands and Bilal Nichols. Growing up for me, I had a great upbringing, you know, because of my grandparents. You know, they really wanted what was best for Bilal. He's awesome. He's a tremendous young man. He cares about his teammates, looks out for his teammates, and, and you saw that with my mom and, and pop pop. Before he came to live permanently with us, he used to come over and visit for weekends. Every weekend. Every weekend he was with us. And then at about the age of five, he came on like on a permanent basis. I had just retired, so I just uh, took a part-time job and yeah, here I go again. <laughs> yeah, that's what we said. My son had just moved out, just came out of Temple and you know, it was just us two. So it was like we were starting all over. I feel like my mom, like she, she wanted to do all she could for me, but financially I knew she wasn't able to. He would still see his mother. You know, we would take him to her, like holidays, you know, she was still in his life. I figured that she was doing the right thing by sending me with my grandparents because I don't know my dad. I really had no, no male figures in my life. My cousins was in and out of jail and she sent me with my grandparents who were always the positive role models in my life. He was just an active fella. And every once in a while, I had to get a call. You better come up here and check me out. Yeah. <laughs> he was lashing out in school sometimes. The principal yeah. would call us a lot. I got in trouble a lot as a little kid. I would like to say that I was pretty, pretty bad. I had to, like, pray with him every night and, you know, comfort him. I was kind of confused, honestly. My mom really didn't tell me that I was moving in with my grandparents. She just kind of dropped me off one day and then she just never came to get me again. I was real attached to my mom, I think, early. So it was very hard. It was kind of hard for him at first, but gradually he, uh, he adjusted. I started playing football when I was about, I want to say like, I think about nine or 10. My husband noticed he, had, he was athletic and we put him in sports right away. He, uh, he played basketball and football. And then when I got to high school, I really didn't take football too seriously. My sophomore year, I broke my leg and, and I was questioning if I should even play it because I was scared to get hurt again. I was scared. There was so many doubts going in my mind. And then my uncle told me like, you don't want to be that person where you get older, you look back and say, I should have did that when I was in high school. You should cherish every moment, try anything you want. And I tried it, and I just felt like football was, was, was perfect for me, perfect for the aggression I had built up, the, the pain I had from my injury. I just felt like I put all that into football, and I, and I began to love it. I felt like I had a sense of stability. Like, when I lived with my mom, we never had, like, a real house. Like, we always stayed with other people. We was from going from house to house, and me, her, and my sister. So. When I moved in with my grandparents, I finally felt like I had a sense of stability, like, okay, this is the bed I'm going to be staying in every night, not anybody else's or sleeping on somebody else's couch or anything like that. I kept hearing uh, different things about this young guy, you know, Bilal Nichols, and, and what a terrific young guy he is and player. Uh, Frank Moffat, who's the head coach over at Hodgkin, is a Delaware grad, the AD at Hodgkin's a Delaware grad. Uh, you know, so, so I had a relationship with the school and the coach and, and uh, went in and, and we loved everything about Bilal. Loved him as a player, loved him as a person, and, and uh, we're really excited to have the opportunity to recruit him. He's got some of the most support I've ever seen a young man have, and, and that's not something you can always say with a young man who doesn't live with either one of his parents. His grandparents were very involved. Uh, they were engaged 100%. Uh, his grandmother was awesome. If Bilal doesn't know this, he'll know after he watches this, but you know, my mom's not one who won't call. She put her input in on what school she wanted me to go to. She brought me a UD trash can before I even decided what school I wanted to go to. Mm -hmm. I was already buying him things from UD, putting it in his bedroom, throwing them hints. It was ultimately his decision. We sat down as a family, you know, and he narrowed the schools out and he said he was leaning towards Delaware. Yeah, I was a UD fan from a young age growing up. It was ultimately easy for me. You know, after talking to Coach Brock multiple times and getting a vibe from him, like, he always kept everything 100% real with me and my grandparents. 
I, I think some of the traits that Bilal has from his grandparents are, are incredible. You know, Bilal's a great teammate, cares about his teammates, looks out for his teammates. And, and you saw that with Mom Mom and, and Pop Pop all the time. I mean, they were always checking on him. I learned a lot when I was when I was visiting him, talking to him on the phone. But he loves his grandparents. I know they love him. Um, but they've done a great job taking care of him and, and raising him the right way. He is a stand-up young man. They would teach me, you know, the right and wrong way to do things. And I feel like I can carry that on my whole life.